This is ABC 7 News, Chicago's number one news with Ron Majors, Cheryl Burton, weather with meteorologist Jerry Taft, and sports with Mark Greco. This is ABC 7 News at 5. New at 5 o'clock, a suburban banquet hall is responding to questions tonight about its decision to cancel an Islamic conference that was scheduled to take place at its facility. The Meadows Club in Rolling Meadows says that the threat of protests prompted it to end its deal to host the U.S. branch of Hizb ut Tahrir. That's a movement. ABC 7's Ben Bradley is joining us now with more. Ben? Cheryl Ravi, the group is controversial even within the Muslim community. Protests have dogged its meetings in the past, stirring the pot this time. Members of Congress publicly declaring it a terrorist organization, despite the fact U.S. law enforcement doesn't see it that way. A slickly produced video promoting a recent conference calls on people to be part of the revival. The fall of capitalism and rise of Islam, it declares. There are radical Islamists right here in our district who every day are plotting to kill Americans. We need to be alert to that, and when they try to do things overtly or publicly, we got to call them on it. This is subversion. This isn't protected speech. And so I ask you, why in the world hasn't the Obama administration shut this conference down? Speaking at a week? gathering of conservatives in Rosemont last week, Congresswoman Michelle Bachman labeled the Islamic group slated to meet at this Rolling Meadows banquet hall a terrorist organization. Websites then stoked the outrage. This would be like having the Nazis meet in uh, New York, anybody who's interested in uh, human rights and human dignity should oppose it. Democracy! There were demonstrations outside a similar event in 2009 in Oak Lawn. Experts say the group Hizbut Tahrir's goal is to install one person to lead the Muslim world dominated by strict Sharia law. A spokesman for the movement told our news partner, The Daily Herald, the call is not to bring that here to this country or anything of that sort. The message is for Muslim countries to return to Islamic values. They're a marginalized group. They're a very fringe group um, that most Muslim Americans don't don't agree with. Still, hundreds of calls and emails, some of them vicious, flooded the Meadows Club banquet facility. Concern grew that the Father's Day gathering would draw protests and distract from other weekend events here, including an Islamic wedding. We are, uh, after all, a small business. And then uh, there are a lot of other social and uh, you know community-based events which happen here. Uh, so he said, I don't want to inconvenience uh, but the people. He was very gracious about it. Representatives of Hizbat Tahrir did not return our calls or emails requesting comment, but the banquet hall manager said the group was very understanding about canceling their gathering. Their website says they have now secured a new location in the Chicago area, but they won't announce where that is until closer to the June 17th meeting date. All right, we'll see what the reaction is then. Yeah. All right, Thank then. you. Thanks. A lawsuit has been.